In this video, I'm going to show you how to find the formula of the volume of a sphere and you're going to find the volume of a cone by using integration. You will find this on page 350 in the Namibia AES level mathematics textbook y equals mx plus c to success. Okay, let's look at the example. The diagram shows a quarter of a circle. There's the quarter of a circle. Center O, radius R. The point XY, there's the point. Okay, I'll just get the pen. Okay, the point XY lies on the arc AB. Show that Y squared is equal to R squared minus X squared. Okay, I'm just going to use a ruler. I'm going to quickly draw a line from here to there. And this is actually what I showed you there. Okay. So, I can say that if this is R, then this will also be R. This, because this is the point X, Y, then I can go and say this will be this. Okay, let's make it also red. So this will be x and this will be y. And there is my 90 degrees. So basically, if I'm going to find this or solve this, I'm going to say this is Pythagoras' theorem. So I can say x squared plus y squared, there I said that, is equal to r squared, Pythagoras' theorem. So if I make, make y the subject of the formula, I just take that one over. So there I got the formula. Now, the line x is equal to h, so I'm going to clean it here again. And I want to show you this, I gave you now, that this is h. So this line here is cutting at the distance h on the x-axis. Okay. Um, meets the x-axis at e and cuts the arc a, b at d. Okay, there it cuts, there it cuts. The area A, E, D, A is rotated through 360 about the x axis. So this area, this area is rotated about the x axis. Obtain the expression in terms of pi, h, and r for the volume of a solid of revolution. Okay, so we're going to now find that. So there is, is, is the equation. Don't forget that this equation is y squared there is equal or even that part rather, same. It's y squared equals r squared minus x squared. Okay, so there's the formula. Ooh. Um, because it's squared, because volume, I must remember pi and I must square it, but because it's already squared, I don't have to square it again. Okay, so it's already squared. Remember, it's just a constant. Now, this is very, very important. The value of r, let me make it blue, that is just, a, it's just like 5, okay, or 4, or 3, doesn't matter. So, actually, that term is having no x. Keep it in mind. There is an x. I'm going to integrate to x. And I'm going to do, because there, this is h, that I showed you, so it's between h and 0, and that is what, that's my boundaries, h and 0. Okay, now if I integrate, there's not an x, there's only a constant, like for example 5. So I'm going to put the x. This one, I'm going to add 1 and I divide by 3. Okay, are you with me? So keep in mind that the constant is in terms of a variable. Now I'm going to substitute. Now just remember you're substituting in the place of x. Put brackets. Every time you see x, you substitute h. And then the second time, you substitute 0. Okay. And then we will end with this. This becomes 0. This is whole 0. And we end up with this. But now, so obtain an expression for the volume of the, uh, the revolution. Hence, you otherwise verify that this for the volume of a sphere of radius r. So, so basically what they say now is that they're going to take, no, not h, 
they're going to make it up to there. So if this quarter circle is start to rotate, it's going to form a half circle, a hemicircle. So they want to know, in the place of H, we're just going to substitute R. And that's what we did there. Okay. So I'm doing exactly the same, and now I just substitute, in, instead of H, I just substitute R. And then I'm getting R to the power of 3, Okay, can I, can I show you here? Yes, let's show you here. So I get pi, and it's r to the power of 3, because it's r squared times r, minus a third. Look, it's like terms. Do you see? This is 1, so it's r to the power of 3 r. So there's going to be left 1 minus a third is 2 thirds r to the power of 3. Okay, and then I multiply. But don't forget, this quarter circle, I said, is going to form a half circle, a hemisphere. But if I want the full one, I must just go and take this answer and just multiply it by 2. Okay, because a half times 2 will give you 1. So if I multiply by 2, and there is the formula. I derived the formula for the volume of a sphere. Okay. I, it, they can sometimes put it in a question, but I think also that it's just good knowledge to know where this, the formulas comes from. Okay, and I think especially in the AS level, we are bringing all the points of mathematics, a bit school mathematics together, so that you understand basically why you were using it in ordinary level or things that you do get in ordinary level. Okay. I want you to stop the video and I want you to do the, um, this number, try now 36. And this number one is nice because this is now again going to show you how we derive the formula for the volume of a cone. Really nice, bringing all the points together. Okay. So if I'm going to look at this one, the diagram shows, okay, stop the video. First try it, and as soon as you are finished, you can continue the video. But first try to do it on your own. The diagram shows a cone of height h and base r. Through integration, verify that the formula for the volume of a cone. Okay, now take in mind. This, and I'm going to make it red again. Where that was a, a, a quarter circle, this is going to be a straight line. Okay, now... I must first, just like I was finding the equation there, just get my pen ready, just like I was finding the equation, I must first find the equation of this straight line. Now it's going through zero, so if it's going through zero, I already know that the value of C will be zero. So I will just have something like that. Okay, now how do I find this gradient? Now, I, I know that the gradient, gradient, is delta y over delta x. Now, if you look at this, delta y, in this place of y, we said r. And this, in the place of, of x, we said h. Okay, so I can go and write down the formula r over hx. There you see the formula of that red straight line. Okay, now I can, can start with the, the integration. I can say the volume, if this is starting to rotate, is don't forget your pi, don't forget, it's, this is H, uh, let's just get another color. If I want to look what is that, that is H and that is zero. So it's going to be between H and zero. And where, what is my formula? R over H, X, and don't forget to square it. There's not a square this time, it was just one Y and DX. Don't get confused with the constants that's variables. Focus on the x. The rest you just rewrite like you were rewriting the constants. Okay, but first get it ready. First multiply that in. So it's going to be r squared over h squared over 
x squared. Okay, and I integrate to x. And now I'm going to integrate. Okay, so if I integrate, this is just that I could even put it in front. I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to put it in front with this one. That you don't get confused. It's just a constant like that part. Okay, and then I'm going to say uh, x3 over 3. And what is my boundaries? It's going to be h and 0. Okay, so if I have now r squared over h squared pi, and I'm going to substitute. So first I put h, so it's 8, 3 over 3 minus, and this is going to be 0, 3 over 3. So that, oh, I just want to move this. So this is just going to give me r squared, r squared over h squared. There on top is h3, are you with me? And there is also a 3. Oh, okay. I think I want to write it better. I want to just order, order it a little bit. Okay, so let's make it r squared h3 over 3 h squared pi. Because then you can see I'm left with this one of this h stay. So 2 cancel out. So I'm left with one third, do you see the one third? I'm left with r squared and a h and a pi. Okay, and magic. This, 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 this. Uh, the volume, so therefore volume of a cone equals one third. And it doesn't matter which value, or you can arrange, arrange it like an uh, area of circle, so it's pi r squared times h, because it's the area of a circle times the height, and it's just a third. So you can just rearrange it that it looks more familiar, but everything was already in that, that final uh, solution there. So that is how you derive the formula of a code by making use of integration.